welcome to the recon trader in today's video i will show you the three different ways how to stop a bitscap crypto trading grid bot and basically the idea is to either lock in profit or to avoid big losses now if you're not familiar with bitscap it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform that includes a trading terminal they have an arbitrage feature you can demo trade or paper trade but in today's video we will be focusing on the grid bots now if you're curious what type of investment is required to get started you can actually start for free they offer a 14 day free trial and i will drop a link in the description down below and if you use my link you'll actually get the pro plan for free during that 14 day free trial now after your trial expires you can join for as little as $19 a month and that will get you two active live trading bots if you think you're going to deploy more bots then you could step up to the advanced plan and that would be $44 a month and that would get you five active trading bots now I personally use the pro plan and I will typically have somewhere between 10 to 15 active trading bots live at any given time but with that being said, I do frequently stop those bots and either lock in profit or cut my losses depending on the market conditions. And so that's what we're going to focus on in today's video. So let's get to it. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually functions, the idea is when you deploy the bot, you want the bot to buy the dip and therefore buy at a lower price and then sell the rip back up and therefore locking in profit at a higher price. And a grid bot is basically made up of open limit orders and the green lines you see on the screen would be your open limit buy orders and the red lines you see on the screen would be your open limit sell orders and so when the price action dips down and hits these green lines it basically executes buy orders and when that price action reverses and starts to go up and hits the red lines it executes sell orders for profit and that's pretty much it grid bots are extremely simple to deploy and manage and one of those management responsibilities is closing a bot. And in this case today, I will be closing my ADA BTC bot that I deployed one month ago. As you can see, it's been open for 30 days and it is truly underperforming. And in reality, I'm down 2% currently. So not a huge loss, but it is time to cut this loser loose and use those funds for perhaps a more profitable bot. And in order to stop the bot, I just come over to the bot options and click on the circle with the line through it. And you'll get some basic intel about the bot. The pair was ADA BTC. My investment amount was 0 0.01979 BTC. My investment change, which is my profit or loss, is a negative 2%. What I currently have in open orders is 231 ADA and I have 0 0.0076549 BTC. And the BTC is being held in those open limit buy orders and the ADA is being held in order to fill the open limit sell orders. And then you have your current price, which we're looking at 39.58, and the break even price would be 43.98. And so I have basically three options on how I would like to close the bot. So if I click on my options, I can stop the bot and cancel all open orders. And that would free up my BTC and I would still hold the ADA that I currently hold. The other option is to sell at market price and that would instantly sell the 231 ADA back into BTC at the current market price or I could place a sell limit order at the break even price. And so if I actually wanted to hold on to the ADA and wait for it to get back to break even versus BTC, then I would select place sell limit order at break even price. But today I'm going to stop the bot and sell my position at market price in order to recapture that BTC and then perhaps deploy a more profitable bot with that BTC. So I give that a click and next I click on close bot and you see ADA BTC bot canceled. And you can see that the ADA BTC market order has been placed and that should fill here shortly on Binance. And it did, it, all my order has been filled and I sold that ADA. And so now I have cashed out of that position entirely. And now I could redeploy a new bot with that BTC. Now, if I click on spot history, I will be able to see all the bots I have closed recently. 
And you can see the first bot in the list is Matic USD. This particular bot, I actually closed to lock in my profit after Bitcoin crashed. Matic actually recovered a little faster than the rest of the coins. So I decided to lock in that profit and I closed that bot in case the crypto market rolled back over and in reality it did shortly thereafter roll back over and i also close bots like engine btc was underperforming i typically shoot for a one percent profit per day and my engine bot ran for almost a month but produced a meager 0.24 percent profit so i closed that bot out and that would be the same situation with most of these bots. While they were profitable, they were not hitting my 1% profit per day. And so I closed those bots out. And then as we scroll down, you'll see my ADA BTC bot that I just closed out. And then a final way you can have a bot close is via a stop loss. And you'll see with this Adam USDT bot, it was actually closed out due to a stop loss was hit. And I took a, almost a 7% loss on this particular position. But in reality, that stop loss saved me from an even bigger loss. And that is why I always utilize stop losses. And as you can see, they don't actually hit very often on my grid bots. But when they do, they definitely save me from bigger losses. And a 7% loss is actually a pretty big loss. But in this particular case, it would have been a double digit loss. And I avoided that by having my stop loss in place. And that is how this spot actually was triggered to stop. All right, with that all being said, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can stop your bots and either take profit, hold the position, or wait and sell at break even. And in addition to another way a bot could be stopped would be via the stop loss. So if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you're interested in building wealth via crypto trading, you might want to shoot that subscribe button as those are the type of videos that I tend to create. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.